to my channel it's christy rocks xo if you're new here i would love for you to hang out and subscribe and for my og subscribers what's good so in today's video we are going to be revamping my wine bar area it's something that i've been wanting to do for a long time now so i did go ahead and pick up a couple of new items nothing major i will show you that later in the video so do you notice anything different your girl uh dyed her hair i changed my hair color i am now a ginger and i love it <laughs> i love this hair color i'm obsessed with it my last hair color i've had it for a while now and i was just tired of it i've pretty much been every single color in the crayon box but I don't think I've ever been this color of red. But anyway, I just wanted to quickly mention that. So let's go ahead and let's start decorating. Okay, so here's what my wine bar area looks like right now. To me, it looks a little chaffy. <laughs> it's cute, so I don't wanna knock it because, you know, it's cute. But it needs way more. And as you can see, there is tape right here up along the wall that's because i'm going to be putting a picture there so i have it all set up with nails already ready to go so here's what i mean tip number one go ahead and do is you're going to get your hooks usually your hooks come laying down like that pick up your hooks because that's the way it's going to be hanging what you're going to do is you're going to take your tape and you're going to put your tape you're going to measure your tape from this little spot here all the way to this spot here so you're going to be left with one um strip of tape so it's going to go from here to here it's just the easiest way for me it's it's the best solution i found to get the picture pretty straight so what I do is I take the tape that I measured and I put it onto the wall and then I put the nails wherever the tape ends because obviously that's where the two hooks are going to be. So that's just a little tip I wanted to go ahead and share with you. Okay, so now that we've got the tip taken care of, <laughs> let's go ahead and let's start to remove all of this. Um, I did have a couple more glasses there, but they're in the wash. I'm going to take those out because I will be using those. So I'm going to take all that out. I'm going to clean my counter really good because I want a clean surface to start with. That's another thing that I love to do is start off with a clean surface. So I'm going to go ahead and take all of that out. As you can see I have my picture nice and hung and it looks really pretty and yes it is covering the outlet for anybody that noticed that so I won't need that outlet for anything so I did go ahead and cover it with my picture and I absolutely love putting pictures on the backsplash of my counters because I don't have a backsplash so the pictures just add that extra oomph you know what I'm saying it adds um, some dimension and it adds eye candy to the back of my counters without having backsplash on there one day we will get backsplash and I'm still going to be hanging this picture with some command strips or something like that so that's another tip if you don't have a wall that you can make a hole in command strips will work perfect for this so don't worry you can achieve that look even if you have backsplash so now let's go ahead and let's add some more decor and this picture came from Hobby Lobby and I think it is so beautiful. I love the bench and I love the flowers behind it. I think it's so pretty and girly. And um, you know, it's a glam with farmhouse because the bench is wood and it just, it's really pretty and I just love it. I just, I just find it so, I don't know. Do you ever find your own meaning to your artwork? I personally do. I have my own meaning for that picture. I'll keep it to myself, but I really love it. It's beautiful and I'm glad I chose that. And it did come from Hobby Lobby. I did have a coupon. I think it was about $24, but it was a 40% or 50% off at the time. So I did get it for 50% off and I absolutely love it. I just love that it's black and white and I love that the border is all gray. It's a very dark gray and it's so pretty. I Okay, and the next thing I'm going to be adding is this tray here. Actually, you guys, it's not even a tray at all. It was a mirror. I found this in the mirror section at Home Goods. I was looking up and down for a, a black tray. This is all black with a mirror bottom. I could not find that for the life of me. 
So I got the bright ass idea to go into the mirror section and look for a black mirror. And sure and behold, it was right there singing to me from the decorating gods up above. And it said, take me with you, girl. So that's exactly what I did. So that just goes to show you don't have to use you know, a mirror as a mirror. You can use it as a tray. You can use anything in your home however you want to. It's your home. Do you, boo. You feel me? Do it as you want. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use my mirror tray and I'm gonna use it right here. I just feel like it's going to bring a lot of light to this area. This area is a little dark even though I have my um, under cabinet lighting and stuff like that. It's still just a little dark. But with this, it'll just bring in some airy, some light, and the glasses will reflect from the tray. I think it's gonna look absolutely stunning. So let's continue adding. I have this cake stand here. I really love this cake stand. I got this cake stand at Home Goods as well a while back. So I'm going to be adding this cake stand right over here in the corner. Just right about there. And also, now I'll be adding my decanter. And I wanted to also give you another tip on cleaning this guy because I, for the life of me, could not find, I, I just, for the life of me, of everything. <laughs> So I could not figure out how to clean this decanter. I put it in the dishwasher, which you're not supposed to put these in the dishwasher because I guess it ruins them. I don't know, it didn't ruin mine, but it didn't even clean it, it didn't work. What was happening is I was getting a ton of soap scum up in here and through here. And as you can see, there's no way to clean in here, like to stick something in there or clean it. Well, I searched on Amazon and Amazon did have options. There are some, it almost looks like a baby bottle cleaner, but it's much longer and um, it's angled, you know, it's angled to be able to get in here. And I could have bought that, but I wanted something, you know, DIY because your girl's a DIYer. So I saw that there was these bead looking things. They almost look like a BB gun bullets. And what you do is you put them inside and you put, you know, soap and water and you swish it like that and it supposedly cleans it. Well, your girl doesn't have those beads, nor do I have uh, BB gun bullets. So what I did is I <laughs> took some pinto beans because uh, DIY, YOLO, I figured, okay, let me try some beans. You know, beans are like the closest thing that I have to it. So I put some beans in here. I put some hot water. I also put some Dawn dish soap and some vinegar. I gave it some swishes. You know, my arm was real tired. And lo and behold, it cleaned it so good. So I think you should try that if you're having a problem with your decanter, if it's stained from the wine, or if there's just like soap scum in there that's just not coming out, because that was my issue, it was not coming out. But once your girl did that little hack, uh, uh, it worked like a charm. So I just wanted to share that with you really quick. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to be setting my decanter right back here. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna show you the wine glasses that I'm going to be using. Let me go ahead and bring this down a little bit. So my wine glasses, believe it or not, came from Dollar Tree. So this is a budget-friendly little um, pick-me-upper, makeover, wine bar area. So I did pick this up at Dollar Tree. This was in their vase sections, but your girl's using it as a stemless champagne flute because why not it's so cute and i love it it's one of my favorite glasses also i'm going to be using this glass here and this look at i just love this little lip right here i did haul this on my instagram and that's another thing that i do over on my instagram is i do random little hauls that i don't share on here make sure you follow me on my instagram at christy rock so but this cup here is a wine glass from Dollar Tree and I absolutely love it. I just love the shape. It is so pretty. I love how it like tapers and then it gets fatter here at the bottom and this little lip is just everything to me. So I'm going to be using those as well. And then these glasses here also came from none other, the Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree has amazing wine glasses. Don't sleep on their wine glasses because they're amazing and they're really pretty and good quality. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna 
arrange them here however I see fit. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and put those two there. This one in front like that. Let me see. So I'm gonna take these smaller ones, put them up here, right here. No, 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 back here. Yeah, that looks better. And then I'll take these two and I'll put them right there. And I think that looks so cute. Let me go ahead and push these back a little bit. Because there's a lot of room right there. All right, and then I have a couple of these little shot glasses. Uh, I have another one in my dishwasher. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put that here up front. I'm gonna move these over just a little bit. Yeah, like that, that looks good. So super simple, but super cute. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add some Pellegrino. I thought that these would look really pretty up here. Also the color is just amazing. I love green, I love the color green. And I think it just adds that pop and I do decorate my house in, I do decorate my house with a green, um, like green floral everywhere. I think it's just so pretty and it just adds that pop. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add the Pellegrino up here. And it's just gonna add that extra little oomph. I think it's so cute and I'm loving the way it looks already. I'm not going to be adding a ton of things over here. I like to decorate in, I like it to look cute, but I do not like clutter. I don't like a lot of stuff everywhere, but I do like it to look cute, you know? So I am gonna go ahead and turn this around just a little bit. And I'm loving the way this looks already. It's just so pretty. Right. To chop it all off, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add this beautiful vase of flowers. These flowers came from at home. These were $4.99 for this little bouquet of flowers. And then this vase came from at home as well for $12.99. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add that here. And I think it is just so pretty. It just adds, you know, that little touch and then it matches the flowers that are in the picture. It's almost like, you know, the flowers coming to life. I think it's really cute. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave it just like that. All right, so that's it. That's all I'm going to be adding. And I think it looks so cute, don't you? <laughs> Let me know down below what you think. So. I think it looks feminine and cute. I just really love it. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I also hope that you found a little bit of tips and tricks. I am gonna take you for a little close-up so you get a better look. So let's go over and let's have a little looky-see. video I hope that you found it fun and I'm hoping that you liked hanging out with me for a while I love when you interact with me so let me know down below how you feel about my wine bar area only if you feel good about it anyways if you are new here get subscribed hang out with your girl for a while hit the notification bell and don't forget to follow me over on my Instagram at Christy rocks XO because share a little bit more than I share here so head over there if you ever miss me <laughs> and that's pretty much it so I really love the way the bar area turned out I hope that you did too and until next time XO till I overdose bye